<sighs> Aloha. Welcome to Mindful Brain Dance. What is Mindful Brain Dance? Well, let's talk about Mindful Brain Dance. Mindful Brain Dance is a practice. It's a moving meditation practice. The welcoming prayer embodied. Brain Dance is a meditation form. Mindful Brain Dance, created by me, and I have a website that you can go to whenever you like to see this presentation or other things like it, uh, all about Brain Dance and Mindful Brain Dance and the Welcoming Prayer. All of the above are included. So why, why, why is one more practice needed in the world? Well, for me, I was struggling. My son had died and I was struggling. I was struggling physically. I'd had several injuries. I was in pain. I just couldn't quite get my life together and then my son died and I just felt like the whole world was falling apart. I didn't know what to do. This practice has enabled me to continue to live in the world. Brain dance is a returning to the developmental movements that you learn in the first year of life, if you're lucky. And then when you have injuries or other things happen to you, the neural pathways can be broken and you need to relearn them or refresh them. That's what brain dance is all about. And the welcoming prayer is about being in this moment as it is, embracing this moment as it is. Mindful brain dance, the practice itself is about empowering you to be able to move your way, feel your way, pray your way. So I developed it the way it works for me, but I encourage you to embrace this practice in a way that works best for you. So what is it? The welcoming prayer? A prayer to be done in the moment, embracing this moment as it is. The welcoming prayer and then brain dance. As I explained, it's brain dance. It's about moving and being and combining them together. So if you want more information, again, you can go to the website and learn more. This practice enabled me to live in this world again, to live here. Before this, I was struggling and I wasn't really living in the world. I was hiding out. But this practice has allowed me to live in the world again. Where are you? When are you? You are now in this moment as it is. As I lead Mindful Brain Dance, it's guidance, not specific instructions. I give you ideas of the ways to move. Some basic guidance and guidelines to refresh the developmental movements from that first year of life. And remember, this is all about you, your body, your feelings, your now. Where are you? What does you need? Where are you in this moment? So a little bit about Brain Dance. Brain Dance was created by Anne Green Gilbert, and you can find out more about her on her website. And here's the eight basic movements from Brain Dance: the breath, the tactile, stimulating the proprioceptors that help us find our place in space, the core distal, finding our place, the startle reflex, learning about those things, the head-tail connection the spinal connection, or what I think of as the wiggle, the shimmy, upper lower parts of the body, beliefs in the lower part of the body, reaching out and bringing in to you what you need through the upper parts of your body, sidedness, which is about the choices we make in the world, helping stimulate the different parts of our body. As we do the sidedness and brain dance, it's about choosing what you need and want in the world. Cross lateral, coming across the body, which also helps us come across the connections in the brain, and vestibular. The balance, which is the eyes and the ears, and the balance of the whole body.
those proprio receptors, knowing where you are in space. So as it's very specific about how that all works in the body, I'm going to be a little more general when I lead it. So we have the breath and I accentuate the exhale and the tactile, knowing where you are, the core distal, the star of your body, your head tail connection, the spine, upper lower body halves, cross lateral. And these images give you the ideas of what the things are without very specific instructions, because this is about guidance not about specifically how to do it. If you want to know specifically how to do it, Anne Green Gilbert teach, teaches incredible classes. And in 2021, they're available online. You can take classes from her and really learn about brain dance. Brain dance helped me come back into my body and learn where I was, but I needed that interconnectedness that connected to the world around me, to the sacred divine, all of the above. And that's what mindful brain dance is taking that brain dance practice and taking it into a spiritual place. So the idea came to me in 2016 when I was first training with brain dance and it's emerged over time. And how to find that connectedness, that spiritual connection? The welcoming prayer. The welcoming prayer is about embracing this moment as it is. It's a prayer designed to be done in the moment on the breath. And it has three basic movements. The feel and sink into what you are experiencing this moment in your body. So feeling and sinking into the body, welcoming all that you're feeling, welcoming your experience, and welcoming the divine indwelling, that indwelling presence, the divine presence, that, that sacred part, whatever you might call it and consenting to having and recognizing that presence that is within you and letting go. Let go of the desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. So taking them and putting them together, feeling and sinking into the body, welcoming, let go, with the movements of brain dance. That's what the mindful brain dance is. So here, this handout and, and other parts of this presentation are available in the description. And in each one of these, I've tried to take the movement, the part of brain dance, and give you an idea of how to incorporate the welcoming prayer to, for the breath to feel and sink into the body, to welcome all that we're feeling, all that we're experiencing in the breath, and to let go. Let go. So the welcoming prayer could do, be done on the breath, inhaling acceptance, exhaling surrender. In just that moment, taking us into this place. And for each one of the parts of brain dance, I've tried to indicate how we can embrace the welcoming prayer in those movements. As you may be, for instance, the head tail connection, the wiggling of the spine, to welcome all that you're feeling from the head to the tail, embracing, welcoming all that we're feeling, welcoming that experience, not trying to change it, but welcoming it. Welcome the divine indwelling and letting go, letting go of anything we don't need into the hands of the divine. For me, this is a practice that I love to do at sunrise and sunset, embracing all the parts as they are, knowing that I need security, affection, control, but that as I welcome and consent to the divine indwelling, the divine indwelling is there for me in this moment as it is. So come join us, mindfulbraindance.com, anytime you would like, when we, have, when we have opportunities. You can go to the website and the opportunities will be there. We'll, having, we'll have ongoing online gatherings. There may also be some in-person gatherings at some point in the future, but in 2021, not yet. It's the closing up of the pandemic, I hope. So 
So hope to see you there. Let's take just a moment to review what is mindful brain dance again in a kinetic way. So taking the breath, breathing, feeling and sinking into the body, accentuating the exhale. Feeling and sinking in, welcoming, letting go. The tactile, feeling, activating the proprioceptors, waking up the body, all the places needs to be woken up as we feel and sink in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All that you're feeling and experiencing, welcoming the divine indwelling and letting go. Letting go. And the core distal coming down into the oneness, reaching out into the world. The core into the core, distal out to the stretches, the startle reflex. <sighs> to really feel that and embody it, to let the stresses go. The head tail connection, the head and the tail, feeling the connection between them. And for me, that is all about the spine, wiggling the spine helping the synovial fluids flow, the grace of God flowing throughout all of the vertebrae, all those the neurological pathways, the synovial fluids flowing. Oh. The lower body where we hold our beliefs, welcome, 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 feel and sink in to your belief, your faith. The upper body as you reach out into the world, giving and receiving. Sightedness, just about decision-making, choices we make in the world, tapping into the intuition of the body. Do I want to do this? How does it feel on this side of the body? Activating the other side of the brain. How does it feel on this side of the body? Believing in the body, this incredible instrument given to us to feel and sink in, to welcome and let go. The cross lateral, which is accentuating across the body as well as actually crossing the body. And as we cross over the body, it helps build the crossing over in the brain. And then the vestibular, which is about balance. It's the eyes and the ears and those proprioceptors knowing where we are in space. To do this, to build up the vestibular system, you make yourself just a little dizzy. You might do that by turning, but you need to keep your eyes open so that you're seeing things. To activate the eyes, the ears get activated as you move them. And the proprioceptors again as you move in space. The healing happens in the stillness. The healing happens as we welcome, welcome, welcome. Feeling and sinking into the body. Welcome all that you're feeling. Welcome the divine indwelling, the indwelling presence. Welcome and consenting the presence and action of God in your life. And letting go. I let go of the desire for security, affection, and control, and embrace this moment as it is. Embrace this moment. For me, that's the most important part, to be able to embrace this moment as it is, not as I want it to be, not as I thought it would be, not as I dream it could be, but this moment as it is. God bless you. Aloha. Ahuiho. Until we meet again.